All right, we're going to go through home music production for newbies. You might be a beginner wondering about home music production using your computer. So I'm going to give you the basics of uh, computer home music production in different setups and hardware and software. Really pitching this towards the beginner. Uh, so it's not expert level or professional level, but should be able to give you some advice. So let's think about some basic setup options. First up, you'll have your computer, uh, and would it come with your own speakers? You'll need some software on your computer, a digital audio workstation, and some software instruments and samples. A MIDI controller, it connects to the computer and gives those, that software instructions, it doesn't make a sound itself. An audio interface to convert analog to digital and back again. Um, your basic computer sound card is not a good, good enough for recording. Some studio monitors uh, to uh, listen to your uh, mixes. And also you'd have your, your own input sources, whatever they are, guitar, vocals. So first up, let's just have a quick look at the uh, MIDI controller, it doesn't make a sound itself, it connects usually by USB and is powered usually by USB. It provides the uh, instructions to your computer, enables you to perform with software instruments and uh, on the computer it looks like this after you've performed into it, a set of instructions along this piano roll here that um, tells uh, the software what note to play. An audio interface, this is a basic um, audio interface here, a cheap one around $200. Um, on the back it has line inputs, XLR inputs for mics, outputs for your studio monitors, uh, some MIDI uh, inputs there, and on the front if you have a look at the front we've got the uh, level controllers for uh, both the mics and the line inputs there, monitoring, uh, output levels, a basic meter, instrument input there for like electric guitar, stick that straight in and uh, headphones. So when you record through a digital audio interface it looks like a waveform like this. Studio monitors. Uh, at some stage you'll move on to purchasing some studio monitors. They're, you'll probably start out with just your computer speakers or headphones but studio monitors don't colour the your sound. They're very clear and transparent unlike consumer speakers so at some stage you'll need a set of those. So what are some of the minimal options for people starting out? Well if you're a dance or electronic music pr uh, producer you probably need a MIDI controller to control and perform your beats and your music software. Uh, if you're a recording artist like guitar, vocals and whatnot uh, you'll definitely need a audio interface to convert those uh, sounds properly and then move on to monitors. So with digital audio workstations there's two main types I reckon linear and non-linear. For linear uh, they're very traditional this is Cocos Reaper you got your track numbers down the left here you've got your track timeline along the right there showing the MIDI um, data and the wave files and your mixer down the bottom. The main ones are Avid Pro Tools, and Steinberg Cubase, and for Mac you've got uh, Logic Pro. But you can also get non-linear digital audio workstations that are a bit different. Like look at the interface here, this is FL Studio, it's set up like a sequencer. And a sequencer is where you just set up your sounds and you plug them in like this. And you build up the sounds and make an arrangement in here, you get the idea. There's also Reason uh, from Propellerhead, although it doesn't allow any external plugins, it comes with its own, I'll talk about that later. And you can get another one called Ableton, which is quite good, it deserves special mention, it's quite innovative where you load up in this grid array here all your different sounds and clips, whether it's MIDI files or WAV files pre-recorded. Uh, and you can basically launch them and uh, come up with different arrangements that when you press record it 
then converts it into this traditional linear view here in another interface. So it's quite good for performers. So doors are the host. You also need plugins. And these can be software synthesizers, effects, drum machines, sequences, etc. All sorts of things out there. And to give you an idea, this is uh, Reaper again. To give you an idea, uh, you can get some effects here that come with your door, like um, compressors and equalizers. Here are some in Reaper that are uh, very basic that you can add. That's an equalizer there. But you can also get... Um, uh, some quite substantial um, software like this synthesizer here where you can uh, edit, create uh, your own synth synthesizer sounds and they're quite substantial programs. Some of them cost quite a lot of money. Um, however, there are many free good quality plugins available without having to use private software. So what do I recommend people starting out with? Well, Caucus Reaper. Um, it's a, a very good program and I recommend it for beginners. Why? Well, firstly, it's cheap. It's free to demo, it's fully functional forever, and uh, it's $40 if you want to use it. It's very powerful, it's a linear door, uh, and there's lots of support online, and it's not bloated. It doesn't have any nasty e licenses and that sort of thing. So, that's what I recommend. For hardware purchase, well, I think if you're an electronic music producer, you need a MIDI controller. Either one like this, which is piano, or you can get ones that are uh, drum pads. Whatever your thing is, you'll need a, a controller to perform into. If you're a recording artist, you definitely need an audio interface to capture the purity and clarity and tone of your recording, whether it's your vocals or your instruments. And then, after you've purchased that, save up for some studio um, monitors to be able to listen to your mixes on. Okay then, so, how would I suggest you get started with just a computer? With free, legitimate, high quality software. Um, all the links to this next bit are in the comments below. And let's start off with the door, Caucus Reaper. You just go to their website and download that there straight away. Uh, for some software instruments, go to, across to Native Instruments and there's a section there that says free products and download those free products. There's effects and samplers and software instruments. It's all very uh, high quality stuff. Most of their stuff costs quite a bit of money but this stuff is free. There's a bunch of things there, a bunch of players and free sounds that'll keep you going for, for quite a period of time. For a good old-fashioned analog synthesizer uh, software, go across to Cakewalk and get yourself Square One. It's a very high quality uh, analog synthesizer emulation and um, that'll keep you going. has some great sounds there. For drums, get Drum Core Free. It comes with two drum kits, a acoustic and electronic with stacks of patterns. Very easy, 1.2 gigs, completely free, uh, extremely good value get yourself that. For a sampler, to load your sounds and mangle them up and modulate them, get Vember Audio's short circuit. And you may as well uh, get yourself some um, pre-recorded sample sounds, uh, some high quality ones. Go across to Prime Loops. they got a bunch of things there. They uh, very high quality thing. Uh, recordings. They cost a fair bit of money, but if you click on something you like um, and go underneath it, the thing is they give, a, see, press this button here, they give away a bunch of things free. They give away, what, 10% or 15% of the content of that package for free. So there's a download, there's a, some suggestions there, Caucus Reaper, Native Instruments, Cakewalk, Drum, Drum Core Free, Vember Audio and Prime Loops. And all the links to those are under the um, in the comments below, and they should keep you uh, going for some time to get started. Okay, I hope that helped, and I'll catch you next time.